learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to understand the purpose of cash flow statement describe the main objectives of cash flow statement know the difference between financial operating and investing activities understand the way to prepare the cash flow statement know the methods to prepare cash flow statements know how to make cash flow statements using the direct and indirect method cash flow statement introduction financial statement reflects the financial position of the business and income statement shows the operational activities of the organization over a period of time but with the help of cash flow statement we come to know the inflow and outflow of cash or equivalent to cash accounting standards 3 as3 issued by the institute of chartered accountants of india ICAI in June 1981 it is compulsory for all the listed companies to prepare and present a cash flow statement along with other financial statements annually a cash flow statement divides the cash flows into operating investing and financial activities it is required that an organization should prepare cash flow statement annually with other financial statements objectives of cash flow statements a cash flow statement shows incoming and outgoing of cash and cash equivalents the objective of the cash flow statement is to provide useful information about cash inflows and outflows to the organization under various categories like operating activities investing activities and financial activities this information helps users to know the ability of the enterprise to generate cash and cash equivalents and how the organization utilizes those cash flows many economic decisions are taken by users after evaluating the ability of an enterprise to generate cash and time certainty in the generation of cash or cash equivalents benefits of cash flow statements a cash flow statement provides the following benefits a cash flow statement along with other statements helps a user to measure the changes in the net assets of the company its financial structure and ability Cash flow statement tells about the ability of the organization to generate cash and cash equivalents. It also helps users to compare the present cash inflows of different organizations. The cash flow statements also improve the capability of the reporting of operating performance by different organizations. because it removes the effect of using different accounting procedures for same transactions it also helps in balancing its cash inflows and cash outflows as per the changed conditions it also checks the accuracy of the past assessments done for cash flows cash equivalents and cash flows cash equivalents as we know cash flow statement shows inflow and outflow of cash or cash equivalents from different activities of the organizations the cash means cash in hand and demand deposits with the banks and cash equivalent means short term highly liquid investments that can be easily converted into cash and which have the risk of changes in the value an investment is called as cash equivalents only when it has a short maturity like 3 months or less from the date of acquisition cash flows cash flow means circulation of cash in and out because of some non cash items 
when we receive cash from a non cash item that is known as cash inflow when we make payment in cash for such items that is known as cash outflow for example purchase of goods by paying cash is cash outflow while amount received from sale of machinery is cash inflow classification of activities for cash flow statement 1 as per as3 the activities in the cash flow statements can be divided into three categories operating investing and financial activities to let user know the effect of these activities on the financial position of the organization cash from operating activities as per as3 operating activities are those activities that involve the primary activities of an organization like for a business unit involved in manufacturing the operating activities are manufacturing expenses raw material expenditure sale of clothes these are considered as main activities of the business the cash operations are indicator to know that the organization has generated sufficient cash flows to pay dividend repayments of loan and making new investments cash flows from the operating expenses are generally derived from main activities examples of cash flows from operating activities are as follows cash inflows from operating expenses cash from sale of goods and giving services cash received from royalties commission and other revenues cash outflows from operating expenses cash payment for goods and services purchased to suppliers cash payment to employees cash payment for insurance premiums and claims cash payment for tax The net position of the organization is shown as operating cash flows. Cash from investing activity. AS3 defines investing activities as acquiring the disposing of long-term assets and other assets that are not included in cash equivalents. Investing activities includes sale and purchase of long-term assets or fixed assets like machinery, land, building and furniture etc classification of activities for cash flow statement cash outflows from investing activities cash payments to get fixed assets tangible as well as intangible assets cash payments made for shares debt instruments and warrants cash advances and loan paid to third parties cash inflows from investing activities cash received from disposing of fixed assets cash received from the repayment of loans or advances made to third parties cash received from disposal of shares and debenture warrants interest received in cash from loans and advances dividend received from investments cash from financing activities cash from financing activities include capital or long term funds of an enterprise like cash received from issue of equity shares and debentures loan repayment etc AS3 defines financing activities as the activities that helps to change the owner's capital and borrowings of the organization. Cash inflows from financing activities. Cash received from issuing shares and debentures. Cash received from issuing loans, bonds and other short or long-term period borrowings. cash outflows from financing activities cash repayment of borrowed amount interest paid on debentures and long term loans dividend paid on shares treatment of some peculiar items 
extraordinary items. These items are not regular items, but that are non-recurring in nature like loss due to theft or flood. These items should be handled separately to help user to understand their nature and effect on present and future cash flows. Interest and Dividend In case of organizations whose business is to lend or borrow money, the interest received or paid or dividend received is operating activity whereas dividend paid is treated as financial activity. Taxes on income and gains Taxes can be tax on income, on capital profits or on dividends. AS3 specifies that tax on operating profit should be treated as operating cash flows. Tax paid on dividend should be considered as financing activity. Tax paid on capital gains should be considered as investing activity. Non-cash transactions As per AS3, the activities that does not include cash or cash equivalent are not be considered in cash flow statement. Like redemption of debentures by issuing equity shares, these transactions should be displayed somewhere else in the books of accounts. Ascertaining cash flow from operating activities. Direct method. As per AS3, there are two methods to calculate cash flows from operating activities. 1. Direct method. Under this method, the main items of cash inflows and cash outflows are considered. The items are recorded on accrual basis in profit and loss statement. So few adjustments are done to convert those items into cash basis like A. Cash receipts from customers equal to revenue from operations plus trade receivables in the beginning minus trade receivables in the end b cash payments to suppliers equal to purchases plus trade payables in the beginning minus trade payables in the end c purchases equal to cost of revenue from operations minus opening inventory plus closing inventory d cash expenses equal to Expenses on accrual basis plus prepaid expenses in the beginning and outstanding expenses in the end minus prepaid expenses in the end and outstanding expenses in the beginning. According to AS3, under the direct method, information regarding major categories of gross cash receipts and cash payments may be obtained either from the accounting details of the organization, by making adjustments in revenue from operations, revenue cost from operations and other items in the profit and loss statement for the followings. 1. Changes in the inventory during that period and trade receivables and payables. 2. Other non-cash items. 3. Other items for which financing cash flows. Ascertaining cash flow from operating activities. Indirect method. Indirect method. Indirect method of calculating cash flow from operating activity starts with net profit and loss because it includes the effects of an operating activity on the organization. The statement of profit is based on accrual, not on cash basis. It also includes many non-operating items like interest paid, profit and loss on sale of fixed assets. As per AS3, in the indirect method, the net cash flow from operating activities is to be calculated by adjusting net profit or loss for the effect of depreciation, goodwill written off, which are to be added back. All investing and financing incomes are to be deducted from net profits 
whereas all such expenses are to be added back. Increase in current assets and decrease in current liabilities are to be deducted, while increase in current liabilities and decrease in current assets are to be added up. It provides information that is important to calculate future cash flows. While calculating the cash flow from operating activities, the net profit before taxes and extraordinary items is to be considered, not the net profit calculated as per profit and loss statement. At times, the amount of net profit is not specified and the statement of profit and loss is also not given. In such a case, the amount of net profit can be calculated by comparing the statement of profit and loss given in the comparative balance sheets for two years. The difference is treated as the net profit for the year and then after deducting the amount of tax made during the year, the amount of net profit before tax can be calculated. Ascertainment of cash flow from financial and investing activities. When we prepare cash flow statement, all main items of gross cash receipts, gross cash payments and net cash flows must be shown separately under the heading cash flow from investing activity and cash flow from financing activity. Preparation of cash flow statement. As we have stated earlier also that the cash flow statement gives information about change in the cash or cash equivalence of an organization in an accounting year. The activities that contribute to these changes in cash or cash equivalence are classified as operating, investing and financing. Preparation of cash flow statement The method which we use to calculate net cash flow from all the three activities have already been discussed. While preparing cash flow statement, full detail of inflows and outflows are given under the prescribed heads, including the net cash flow. The total of net cash flow is calculated as shown as net increase or decrease in cash or cash equivalence. After this, the amount of cash or cash equivalence in the beginning is added and the amount of cash or cash equivalent at the end of the year is calculated. This amount will be the same as shown as total amount of cash in hand or cash at banks or cash equivalent in the balance sheet. Another point that needs to be considered is that when cash flows are calculated for operating activities through indirect method, then the statement itself is known as indirect method cash flow statement. If the cash flow from operating activities are worked by direct method while preparing the cash flow statement, it will be termed as direct method cash flow statement. Unless it is mentioned clearly as to which method is to be used, the cash flow statement may preferably be prepared by an indirect method as is done by most companies in practice. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. A cash flow statement divides the cash flows into operating, investing and financial activities. The objective of the cash flow statement is to provide useful information about cash inflows and outflows to the organization under various categories like operative activities, investing activities and financial activities. A cash flow statement along with other statements helps a user to measure the changes in the net assets of the company, its financial structure and ability. The cash means cash in hand and demand deposits with the banks and cash equivalent mean short-term highly liquid investments 
that can be easily converted into cash and which have the risk of changes in the value. An investment is called as cash equivalents only when it has a short maturity, like three months or less from the date of acquisition. Cash flow means circulation of cash in and out because of some non-cash items. When we receive cash from a non-cash item, that is known as cash inflow. When we make payment in cash for such items, that is known as cash outflow. As per AS3, the activities in cash flow statements can be divided into three categories. Operating, Investing and Financial Activities Operating activities are those activities that involve the primary activities of an organization. AS3 defines investing activities as acquiring the disposing of long-term assets and other assets that are not included in cash equivalents. Cash from financing activities includes capital or long-term funds of an enterprise, like cash received from issue of equity shares and debentures, loan repayment, etc. Extraordinary items are not regular items, but that are non-recurring in nature, like loss due to theft or flood.